Hello again, welcome back. Part two is now a session. When we last left off in part one, I stopped at the 1984 VHS of Never Cry Wolf. And before I continue, I double check my tape on my VHS, on my spare VHS player. And believe it or not, my copy does have the custom Walt Disney Home Video logo presents variant at the beginning. And the 1984 blue MPAAPG screen on there. Small world, huh? So, yes, I did double check that. So, so my copy is uh, version 2 of the 1984 VHS. Although some copies does, does not have the Walt Disney Home, Inter Walt Disney Home Video custom Variant at the beginning in a white and a black background with the text and it does not have the blue MPAA PG screen on there And um, because it just goes to the Buena Vista logo Okay Next we're moving on to the 1984 VHS of the cat of outer space no, or should I say the cat from outer space? With Kim Berry, Sandy Duncan, Harry Morgan, Roddy McDowell, and McLean Stevens. Directed by Norman Tokar. Filmed through 1978. I got this off of eBay back in 2020. A summer. Not... Not ready is 103 minutes, but we all know it's ready G. For sale, only not a tenant for rental. Very carefully, because even though this is not in the best condition, and I double taped that. But here's the tape with the sticker label, and but it's torn off. So unfortunately, the label's torn off. The print date is May 17th, 1985, and it's got the former rental from videos and more. The tape opens up with the lot of blank film at the beginning with the long black screen, followed by the, the red and blue warning screen with the 1978 Neon Mickey Walt Disney Home Entertainment logo and started a movie. And that's it. And here's the 1985 VHS of Davy Crockett, King of the Wild Frontier, with Fez Parker once again. It also has Buddy Epson, directed by Norman Foster. And this also a compilation episode edited into an omnibus movie. Ready G in this 88 minutes. It's a kind of adventure that nobody wants to outgrow. It's a great film, says the New York Herald Tribune. Here's a tape with the sticker label. The print date is March 29th, 1985. Former rental from an unknown... Oh, Total, Inter Total Entertainment Center. That's the former rental. And the tape opens up with the 1984 Red FBI warning screen, the 1983 Neon Mickey Walt Disney Home Entertainment logo, I mean home video logo, and started in a movie. After the movie's over, that's it. This probably has the this might probably have the Walt Disney and you promo at the end. No, I have not checked the closing of the tape. Here's the 1985 VHS of the North Avenue Air Regulators. It's a 1979 movie with the late Edward Herman, also starring Barbara Harris, Susan Clark, Karen Valentine, Michael Constantine, Cloris Leachman, directed by Bruce Bilson. Film, it's a good film. Got this out for Value Village back in 2014. The North Avenue A Regulator is one of the livest, most eventing live action comedies to come out of Walt Disney Studios, says the Daily Vary. Variant. 
Brady G in his 99 minutes. Here's the sticker label from a rental from Pick Your Flicks. That's the name of the from, from a rental. The print date is July 22nd, 1985. Tape opens up with the FBI warning screen. The 1978 Neon Mickey Walters, the home entertainment logo and star of the film. And nope, this does not have the Walt Disney and you promo at the end. Next, here's the parent trap. And this is a 86 reissue because the artwork that slides out. With Haley Mills, Maureen O'Hara, and Brian O'Keefe. It's a 1961 movie. Directed by David Swift, featuring Let's Get Together by Haley Mills, and also has an opening title by Annette Funicello. A comedy unusually well designed for the entire family. Enough slight gags to keep children screaming and enough clever dialogue to amuse their parents as Los Angeles Times. Tape comes with the sticker label. And it's no print date, but this is probably a 1985 tape master because it has the the FBI warning screen and the 1983 Neon Mickey Walters, the home video logo, and star of the movie. Next, here's the 1985 VHS of Mousercise. I got this from my good friend Joshua Cook. The one he sent to me. Thank you, Josh. And I've seen this on the Disney Channel when it's a rerun back in 1995. 55 minutes, not rated. Um, which was um, fitness instructor Kellyan. Take this tape out very gently. Here's the sticker label. And from no prank date whatsoever. Because this is my the older and this tape is not the original because I can tell this is taken from the slipcase cover with the um, holographic film reels right there. But still uses the 1985 tape masters from the and it has the FBI 1984 red FBI warning screen. The night then it's got the Walt Disney Home Video logo presents. Then it's got the fitness disclaimer instructions and start of mouse size. And here's another 1985 VHS of the Gnome Mobile. Starring Walter Brennan, Matthew Garber, Karen Doltrice, also starring Richard Deacon, Sean McClory, Ed Wynn, and others. Directed by Robert Stevenson. It looks like it's from either 1967 or other year, I don't remember. Brady G and his 84 minutes. One of those charming, breezy comedy that can please the whole Please, a whole family. There's a laugh in it for everyone, says the Denver Post. Here's the sticker label. The print date is September 12th, 1985. And the tape opens up with the 1984 Red FBI warning screen and the 19... 83 Neon Mickey Walters, the home video logo and star of the movie. And no, this copy does not have the Walt Disney a new promo at the end. Moving on to Peach Dragon. This is also a 1985 VHS. With Helen Reddy, Jim Dale, Mickey Rooney, Red Buttons, and Shelley Winters. Directed by Don Chaffee. 
films from 1977. There is a rare 105 minute version of Pete's Dragon, which is tough to find. And I know there is a live action one because the live action does not have any um, musical in there. Those incredible Walt Disney witches has created a total satisfaction, satisfying musical. Pete's Dragon is one of chanting entertainment, says the Hollywood Reporter. Ready G is 128 minutes. Here's the sticker label, and there's no print date. It was recorded on a scotch tape. Tape opens up with the 1984 Red FBI warning screen and the 1983 Neon Mickey Walt Disney Home Video logo and start of the film. And this does not have the Walt Disney and you promo at the end. Here's the... 1985 VHS of Pollyanna. This is Haley Mills' first film. And this also has Jane Wyman, Richard Egger, Carl Malden, Nancy Olsen, Abdal Manjor, Donald Crisp, Angus Moorhead, Kevin Cochran. Directed by David Swift. This is from 1961. No, or 1960. Don't remember. Haley Mills won the Honorary Academy Award for the Most Outstanding Juvenile Performance of the 1960s. The best live-action movie Disney has ever made since Time Magazine. 134 minutes not rated. Here's the sticker label, and it smells like permanent paint or marker. The print date is October 22nd, 1985. You can't barely see it. Tape opens up with the red warning, 1984 red warning screen, the 1983 Neon Mickey Walt Disney home video logo and started the movie. And that's it. Next, here's the 1985 VHS Mary Poppins, this is a 1986 reprint. Newer sticker label. The print date, January 2nd, 1986. That's the same print date as on Ryan Goodwin's copy of Mary Poppins. Tape opens up with the 1984 Red FBI warning screen. The 19... 83 Neon Mickey Walt Disney home video logo and started a film. After the movie's over, this does have the Walt Disney and you promo at the end. And finally, here's one of our dinosaurs is missing. And it looks like this is from 1971 or don't remember what year that is. Anyway, with Peter Ustinoff, Helen Hayes, also starring Clyde Ravel, Derek Nemo, Joan Sims, and others, directed by Robert Stevenson. Okay. Ready G, and it's 101 minutes. When this aired on BBC, this was also later aired on BBC One in 1986, in the place of the Late Late Breakfast Show. Here's a tape with the sticker label. The print date is June 3rd, 1986. The tape opens up with the 1984 Red FBI warning screen and the 1983 Neon Mickey Walt Disney Home video logo and start a movie. And no, this does not have the Walt Disney and you promo at the end. All right, guys, that's it for my Walt Disney Neon Mickey collection. Update 2022 edition. I know, like I said, I'm missing two. I will leave that in the comments below. I know I'm missing a lot of titles, but don't worry. It's harder to find now these days, but be grateful. 
I'm happy for what I got. I know some of these Neon Mickey titles are ex pretty expensive and it's very tough to find. Just letting you know. Alright, that's it. Tomorrow, I'm going to be doing my Walt Disney The Classics Black Diamond VHS. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.